What's good, everybody? Mr. Peters. Today's video, we're talking about polynomials, standard form, the degree of a polynomial. I'm going to break that all down for you guys. So guys, first things first, polynomials are just a combination of many terms. We know that terms are separated by operation symbols. So as you look at my screen here, guys, each of these that I'm circling or put in a box around, these are all considered terms, right? And we know for a polynomial, one term is considered monomial, two terms binomial, three trinomial. And if it's four or more terms, then we just use the basic word of polynomial. And when we're talking about writing polynomials in standard form, they tell you to write, write it where the exponents are in descending order. So me, I like to word it different. We're going to write it basically with the greatest to least. That's what we're talking about exponents. So when we're looking here at this problem, if I was writing this polynomial in standard form, I would have 9x to the seventh first. That's the largest exponent. And then I'm going to go in order based off the exponent, not the number in front of the variable, but based off the exponent. So with that being said, we'd have 9x7 minus 2x to the fifth plus 4x to the fourth and then plus 5x to the third. Now understand, guys, I know we don't have the x term or the constant. That's fine. This is what we're talking about when we talk about standard form. And if you look at the exponents, they start from greatest and they go all the way in order to the smallest, so greatest to least, okay? Now we're talking about degree. Understand, guys, that degree, they're just asking you, hey, what is the highest exponent? What's the highest exponent in the problem? So in our problem, the highest exponent is 7. So if they're asking us for our degree or the degree of the polynomial, all we would put is 7. Now, Right here, we're going into the bread and butter. This is what I've seen students mess up with the most. So please make sure you guys pay attention. We're talking about leading term versus leading coefficient, right? And understand that the leading term is the term that has the highest exponent, all right? So the highest exponent is to the seventh power. So we're not just going to put 7. We want to put the entire term. So the entire term, right? Remember, terms are separated by operation symbols, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division signs. So this means our term is going to be 9x to the 7th power. Highest exponent, right? That's the leading term. Now, where students get this wrong, and the, and the thing is they know it. Where they get it wrong is they don't look into the problem. So the last question says, what is the leading coefficient? So remember, the leading coefficient is, is the same thing as the leading term. But remember that the coefficient is only the number in front of the variable. So if they ask us for the leading coefficient, that means it's just the number in front of the highest exponent, okay? So in this problem, the leading coefficient is nine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at one more problem before I wrap this video up. And hopefully you found this review helpful, this explanation good for you guys. It makes it easier for you to understand. Let's look at this problem here. So this last problem says we have eight x plus four x squared right? Eh, I don't have to say the whole problem. Let's just write this out real quick. All right. So we're just going to go through these real quick. So it asks us to write the polynomial in standard form. So standard form, like we said earlier, was what? Greatest to least by exponents. Great. So that means negative 3x to the fifth goes first, then 10x to the fourth, followed by x to the third, then 4x squared, and 8x. And if we look at our exponents, they started from the largest, and they're going in order down to the smallest. So boom, 
Standard form is good. Now we go on to the degree. We should know highest exponent, the degree is going to be five, right? And in our last two problems, before we wrap this video up, what do you guys think is the leading term? So the leading term, remember, is just a term with the highest exponent. That's negative 3x to the fifth, the whole entire term. And then now we're talking about the leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is now just that number in front of the highest exponent. And that is going to be negative 3. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful on standard form and polynomials. Just remember, guys, you know this stuff. Take your time and just remember the definitions and the differences between the two. I know you guys will do great. Thank you for joining us today. Hit the subscribe and like button on your way out. I'm Mr. Peters. Thank you guys for joining us today.